Hey everybody, it's Jesse from Plastic Mind Design. I uh, just finished up today at an event apart. Had an awesome time, got a chance to meet a lot of really talented people. Um, had a lot of really great conversations. Uh, the sessions were phenomenal. Um, especially the last one, we Jeffrey Veen spoke on the history of the internet and it was just phenomenal. Um, one of the one of the talks that really jumped out at me was um, Jared Spool, and uh, Jared Spool actually um, works at a company called User Interface Engineering, and he does a lot of um, a lot of testing of of companies. And anyway, uh, his speech he talked a lot about um, business models, and he he spent a lot of time talking about Amazon. And uh, I had an aha moment. Um, it was really just one of these things where I'll, I just hadn't considered it before and I wanted to share because I thought maybe uh, you know you guys would find it interesting as well. Um, basically, he made this statement. He said Amazon could sell all of their products at cost and still make a profit. And, of course, I'm like, what? And uh, basically, he, he, he explained it like this. I kind of just sketched out a little chart. kind of works like this. Um, day zero... Walmart and traditional places like Walmart and Target, what they'll do is they'll place their orders and then they have to pay the vendors on day 45. But there's this period between when they actually have to shell out the money for the, the products and they sell it to customers. And so this, this gap between when they spend the money and when they actually receive the money it's called cash debt, and they, they basically need to borrow money in order to be able to pay for this time difference that goes on there. Um, and that obviously costs them something, but it's worthwhile. They try to make up for it in, you know, in the prices that they pass on to customers. Amazon, on the other hand, what they do is they obviously have to place their order at day zero as well, um, and they have to pay it off day 45, but what they do is because of the way that their model is structured, they actually sell it before they actually have to pay it off. So this this difference between when basically because they're selling it before they actually have to pay, they have a surplus of money for this time period right here, and it's called a cash float. And so essentially with that surplus of money, they then can... Uh, you know they can lend that out and and make money off of that as an investment. Now, again, if you're doing this with a very small inventory, you're not going to make that much money. However, because of the volume that they do, they have the ability to make all sorts of money on that on that cash flow, and uh, and so that's how they're able to offer at rock bottom prices and give it away for you know do free shipping and all of that stuff because that's how they make their money. Uh, so anyway, just thought it was really interesting. Thought you guys might find it interesting as well. Um, I would definitely check him out. Um, his website is, uh, let me just bring it up quick. It's uie.com, and I believe his uh, Twitter username is JM Spool. And uh, lots of great information there. Lots of great research. That was the thing that was meaningful for me. It's because a lot, a lot of web design is really um, subjective, and it's kind of hard to know. It's kind of hard to back it up with facts. And he has just so much data that quantifies a lot of uh, a lot of the decisions um, that we make. So anyway, uh, go check it out. Hopefully, it'll be meaningful to you. And uh, thanks for watching.